Please put the helmet. This is the message. Now I'm going to put the helmet on the head. You can see that. <coughs> and ignition on. This is the alcohol, and you you will see a LED, green LED is glowing. A message on the LCD is alcohol detector. You can see that accident alert sensor. So these magnet go displays by go into an accident. Let me if you will go to the message section, you will see that your bike got into an accident. Friends, today we have made a smart helmet project. So in this project, we are using a lot of features. I'm going to explain each and every feature one by one. So first of all, let me just tell you the components. So this is the microcontroller board, which is using 8 mega 328 microcontroller. 8 mega 328 microcontroller is nothing here. Basically, we have taken out this from the Arduino board and placed it on a PCB. So this particular PCB we have made by ourselves so that we can place the LCD, potentiometer, and all these things. Like all these connections are very easy on this PCB, but uh, it can create problem on the Arduino board. So that's why we. Have made this PCB. Uh, it's using Arduino. So in simple word, you can say that it's an Arduino based project. Okay. So now the next component is <coughs> GSM modem. So we have inserted the SIM over here. You can see that this is the SIM over here. So we have ins inserted the SIM. So what is the use of this GSM modem? It will send the message to the family member as soon as accident will occur. If I talk about uh, the accident, accident will be detected by the concealed contact magnetic sensor. So these are the concealed contact magnetic sensor, and we are using magnet over here. Actually, what happened in the accident? These magnet get displaced or the glass tube inside these concealed contact magnetic sensor will be broken so in both the condition the uh, signal will be sent to the microcontroller which is at mega 328 over here and it will give signal to the uh, gsm modem and gsm modem will send the message to the family member that the person has got into an accident please provide the care for him now the next section if i talk about is this audio visual indicator so whether there will be an accident whether the alcohol will be detected whether the person has not put the helmet on the head so these audio visual indicator will give the indication and as well as the message will be displayed on the lcd as well so this is the buzzer this buzzer uh, will beep and this is the 10 mm high power led this will glow now this is the rf receiver section which will receive the signal from the helmet section so this is 4 433 megahertz uh, receiver and these are the four led these four leds representing 4 bit data coming from the helmet and this fifth indicator is just for the indicating whether the helmet is wirelessly connected to the board or not and if I talk about this one, this is ignition control relay. This relay will control the motor. So actually, if you will implement this project in a actual bike or a car, then you need ignition control. So that ignition control can be done through this relay. So instead of using this motor, if you are implementing this on a real bike or a uh, car, you can just take out this motor and implement this model in the actual bike and car. Okay. Uh, now, if I talk about uh, uh, this helmet section, uh, so this is the circuit of this helmet section. So we have uh, the battery as well over here, and this is the RF uh, transmitter section, uh, 430, 433 megahertz. If I will open it, then you can see that. 433 megahertz 7805 voltage regulator encoder circuit and there are two main sensor over here one is this alcohol sensor which will have inserted over here so this alcohol sensor will give the signal and then there is uh, the helmet press button so this helmet press button will be pressed automatically whenever the person will put the helmet so let me just show you the actual working how it's working so and now i'm going to put the sensor on the head so first of all i'm going to own it you can see that Power LED is on, it's on. Now I'm going to give the power supply to the bike section. So this section will be implemented on the bike. Now uh, I'm going to put the, please put the helmet. This is the message. Now I'm going to put the helmet on the head. You can see that. <coughs> now you can see that helmet is on the head and, and ignition on. So this is the message ignition on. And you can see that uh, the, the helmet is on the head. So that's why bike is running. So as soon as helmet will be taken out, you will see, you will see over here, no helmet, no helmet on the head because there is no helmet on the head right now. Okay. If I'll again put the head, uh, helmet on the head, then you will see that the bike will be on, ignition is on. So this LED is just representing the ignition. Now if the helmet will be disturbed a little bit, indication will be given over here. You can see that. If I'll again put it. So bike is not going to stop, but still it will provide the indication that your helmet is not placed on the proper head. Okay. Now the next feature is alcohol sensor. So let me just uh, show you the alcohol sensor feature as well. So you can see that this is the alcohol sensor. Only single LED is on right now because this is the power LED. Now I'm going to uh, use this alcohol to sense the, uh, the working. You can see that this is the alcohol and you, you will see a LED, green LED is glowing. Okay. 
green LED is glowing and a message on the LCD is alcohol detector. You can see that. Now after some time the fumes will go away and then this green LED would be off like this. The green LED is off. So this is also going to stop the bike. Let me just uh, activate the helmet press button. Now bike is on but in that case if the person is drink, drunken even then it's going to sense the alcohol detected and you will see that green LED on the sensor. So this is how this project is working. Now let me just show you the next feature which is now let me just show you the next feature which is accident alert sensor. So these magnet go displays by got into an accident. And now I will receive the message. Let me just show you the message. Let me if you will go to the message section. Uh, yeah you will see that your bike got into an accident so this is the message you have received your bike got into an accident so this message will be sent to the family members right so this is how this project is working this is very smart project you can use some advanced feature as well in this project like the back sensor in the bike the fuel indicator and all thank you so much for watching this video if you like it then please subscribe and follow the channel thank you